when I got you guys um today's video um we will be talking about wow look at me like just listen to me just getting straight to the point um to my new subscribers welcome to my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please 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 do hit that subscribe button and just uh, subscribe for more videos like this one I guarantee you you will love the content this side and um, so on today's video uh, we will be talking about fat and sit okay so unlike all the other previous videos that I've made uh, you know like those videos are made um, based on my experiences right so unlike them I never experienced fat and sit let me tell you honey like I want to like the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I want to experience it. Like, I feel like I'm ready for, for fat and sit. Even though it goes, you know, against a lot of, um, my, okay, when my parents, um, you know, values, principalities, whatever. But personally, this is what I want to, um, what I want to experience. And... I feel like I'm ready, you know, um, I feel like I'm ready. I mean, I'm not just gonna step into fat and sit with like nothing. I just feel like, you know, mentally and emotionally and financially, I am now ready to say, okay, I think I can, I, 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 I mean, I wanna consider fat and sit, you know? So in this video, I'll be sharing my, um, my fears, my concerns, and obviously the reason why I want to, you know, experience fat and sit so much because yo okay every time i get that video my nose always itches like what kind of witchcraft is this anyway so yeah uh fat and sit i know um i remember i spoke to my mom about it uh like a a couple of months ago but we didn't really like get into it get into it you know like that i just asked her like in passing her so again how do you feel about fat and sit and she was like ah. you know my, my mom is like she wants to stick to her values but at the same time she's a very like she wants to understand her. okay we live in different times you understand and we want to do things differently obviously so um yeah i think like in the next video uh, I'm gonna record a, 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 like we're gonna continue on this fat and sit series so I'm gonna feature her in my next video so we like she can speak for herself and we can literally hear what she has to say about it and what she thinks and how will she feel if I were to uh, not that her feelings would change how I like my, my, my current state of mind and what I've decided but we'll uh, we'll give her a chance to speak on it so um here are my kind of what i sort of like grew up i'm hearing about fat and sit okay fat and sit uh if a man if you decide to fat and sit with a man a man will never uh, marry you because suddenly he's got everything that he needs so why would he for free so why would he marry you but then at the same time i personally don't think oh, marriage is like selling your child off to another family it's just you know to combine families and you know just follow culture and all of that so i don't i i think it's it's i mean i can't speak for these men i can only speak for myself um but yeah that is what i basically grew up knowing about but said oh no if if you decide to participate with a man this man will never marry you because now he's got everything that he needs um you know you're literally like being his wife right there and then for free but I think roles have also not even roles have changed, but like has like thing like times have just changed, man. I don't know how to put it, but times have really just changed um, in terms of um, responsibilities and duties and chores um, in the household. Who does who gets to do what? I mean, now like I could see, the, I would like the current generation of men are not so big on um, you know a woman must a woman must. Do you understand what I mean? They, when it comes to chores, um, it's sort of like a, I want to say 50-50 type of thing, but it's sort of like a, let's work together type of thing to ensure a, you know, a healthy um, household environment, if I make, if I'm making sense. So, yeah, Baba, so if today I'm the one cooking, tomorrow you'll be the one cooking, if, Robin and vice versa, if I'm washing dishes and, well, and I, Baba, so that, 
and then yeah that is what i grew up like knowing i don't know i never give a man a chance to fucking sit because one two three four blah, blah. fine um and you'd actually see it happening like in, in the community where i grew up and you'd actually see oh i must see my fucking sit they're like i quite fucking sit blah, blah, blah. but um and i think that's where my parents are also coming from because i think my dad as well like um did he thought he did right by my mom by marrying my mom before they moved in together so they never they, they were just like dating you know it was like dating and then when they got married they well they stayed in the same place but i know that i don't think both of them were ready for that like if they were to be honest now but i think if they were to be like really really honest we'll hear from my mom in the next video i don't think they were ready for that because now you realize certain things about your person you're like oh 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 so i don't want to be in that position nah. okay fine so here are the reasons why i want to fucking sit firstly um i feel like uh when we are dating and one person stays there and the other stays the other like at the other place it's sort of like like yeah it is fun yes you get to miss the other person yes they say you know absence makes the heart grow fonder but i really like when there's a point in a relationship where i feel forces just have to come together couples have to come together and just stay together but i understand that to have like but the, the, i think communication changes when you live together i think um like i think b the biggest thing is communication it really does change when you are living together um I don't know in what sense but I do believe it gets better because now you literally live with this person do you understand whether you love it or not you are forced to speak to this person you're forced to just conversate with this person not even conversate per se I mean, you don't have to be talking all the time we don't really talk all the time but um you are forced to literally be cordial with this person Robin. but and said I feel like for me it will open like it will make me realize whether or not i really do want to be in a like a marriage setting because obviously when you're married with somebody you guys stay together you know you're building this thing together and i don't want to find out within the marriage no man i don't think this is for me do you understand what i mean so i want to fight and sit because i want to experience so okay i can actually live with this person that i love and we can actually make it work like we can actually create a very healthy and happy you know home right yes and also um i have bad habits and i wanna like i want what can i say i don't want my, my person to be comfortable with my bad habits no but i sort of just want to okay scratch that Listen, I just want to, I want to be able to know what my partner's bad habits are, um, whether or not I'm able to withstand those bad habits, whether or not he will be able to withstand my bad habits or things that he does not like about me. I mean, when you're visiting for a weekend, it's, I don't want to say you sort of put on an act, but it's like, okay, sure, you can tolerate this person for this weekend because what's about, okay, what's about on my on a Monday or whatever. Do you understand what I mean? But then when you are fat and sitting you are staying with this person so you are forced to speak out on certain things that make you uncomfortable that he does or do you understand what i mean or he's forced out to speak about certain things that you do that i do um that will probably make him feel uncomfortable um so yeah i think that talking about it coming back on the communication part just sort of makes like communication easier you know i don't know like that's just my thoughts and um yes that as well as what let me think yo happy i didn't write anything right now this is just a topic from the top of my head that i just always wanted to talk about and i feel like since um yesterday like in the you know in this very same video like the vlog before um fence of board up i'm like it's a it's a good time to talk about it understand and uh, my partner and i have actually been considering it lately 
So yeah, it's just that there's certain factors that are standing in between us actually proceeding with it because yeah, that we have to take care of before again. Yes. Um, uh, what else? Yes, man. Like I just wanna you know see her before actually. I think it's better to fight and sit than to actually get married and realize that living with someone is not really your thing i don't know yes like i feel like that just makes more sense oh and uh yes and my fears though about fat and sitting oh before i get into my fears my other reason is like i always have this thing in my mind like whenever i come back from work or whenever i come back from i don't know anyway can i didn't tell my man oh yeah i just want to go home go to my man see my man <laughs> do you get what i mean yo let me let me get a drink yes I, do you understand what i mean though because yeah, I feel like it would be such a wonderful thing. Imagine after like a hard day at work, like go getting home to your man. Go, yo, shit. I don't know, guys. Now I think I, I want to experience that. I would give my, you know, the movie, the play Netflix in my mind. So I want to experience that, okay? Yes. So, okay, my fears about fat and sit are uh, if we happen to break up. I feel like the breakup is gonna hit more than like a breakup. They are just normal people dating that live in separate places because now you are breaking up. You're no longer. I think it's, it's it just hits more, man, because now you're living with this person. Do you understand what I mean? You no longer wake up next to this person. Literally, the bed will feel cold, even in summer. Do you understand what I mean? That is uh, my biggest fear. I feel like it's gonna take longer to get over a fat and sit breakup than a just like a normal breakup. Oh. Um, also, uh, my other fear is that what if the relationship is just like it just gets toxic because you just always come like in each other's spaces and stuff like that. Like you know, a lot happens when you are like in each other's spaces all the time. Do you understand a person can just go off like that so i mean that is also my fear just experiencing the toxic side of it i mean i yeah there is a toxic side of it but i just want to experience like the happy side more do you understand what i mean and i hope there's no toxicity um it just it's just going to be two people that um, I'm willing to acknowledge when they've hurt one another and I'm willing to apologize and I'm willing to make it better moving forward Then that way I don't think uh, toxicity has a way of um, Existing in the situation, right? So uh, that is one of my fears um, What? Else? Oh, just um, also discovering that my partner is not who he was pretending to be like if he was pretending to be that person like all this uh, like all the time because you know when you're living with somebody there's only you can only pretend for a certain period of time and after that the two colors are how whatever the clothes definitely bubble so what if i don't like that person or what if this person does not like the that kind the me you know what i mean i mean i'm not pretending or anything don't get me wrong but i'm just saying like I mean, it does happen. We need to consider that it does happen. Um, will they be able to withstand certain things? Like, ugh, God, Jesus. So it's those kind of things. But I feel like, like I said, I think communication is the biggest factor, especially when you are fat and sitting. Because, you know, it's easy to ignore somebody and remise yourself of someone when you are not um living with them but then when like it's just literally the two of you guys in the house then man sir you are forced to make it right to avoid just miserable and tension misery and tension and uh, yeah so yeah um i need to 
I don't know guys, like there's so much on this topic. This is literally just me saying things from the top of my head um, because I have actually been thinking about it, um, you know, for quite some time now. Um, looking at my age, looking at like just a whole lot of factors like my, my current relationship, the nature of it and all of that that I have been. So this, these are just the things that are in trouble, the top of my head. Also one thing that um, would make me want to be in a fatter situation is that I feel like financially it just makes sense, you know, I mean two people are better than one you know two minds are better than one financially it just makes sense two um pay slips <laughs> is, are definitely better than one you understand what i mean um yeah enough to run a household hold on yeah so um i don't know i will i'm definitely going to carry on with this button set topic i'm gonna include my mom in my next video so next week friday when I drop the video, my mom will be featured in that and we'll hear what she has to say, right? Um, yes, this is what I have to say. My mom will, I, I, like I'll drop like a couple of questions for her to answer and just to express herself and how she feels about the whole thing. And yeah, we'll just take it from there, right? So, but for now, um, yeah, I'll, we'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you... And it is very short and very like honestly speaking guys it's literally from the top of my head i'm not even gonna edit out the parts where i was just zoning not even zoning out but just trying to think what to say i'm just gonna post it as it is right so i'm just gonna continue get ready i never even had a drink oh my god so i'm just gonna get ready i'm going out with my friend from work we're going out to this night um, market thing going on um, here in Pretoria East so I will try to vlog because you know I really suck at vlogs guys I'm trying I will try to vlog that part in and just make it part of this video so that it's just like one combined video and we don't have to go to different videos to view everything so I'm just gonna uh, vlog that um, right now I'm just gonna get ready my makeup is already done per I'm just gonna look for something to wear because the weather is really not behaving like it's been cloudy all day but that's okay um, I'm just gonna try to look for something to wear, get ready, and yeah. See you on the other side.